Hi, I'm Rebecca from Anchor's customer success team. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your services in Anchor's service library. When you joined Anchor, we asked about services for your industry, and based on your selection, we created a library of service templates that you can use to get started quickly. Our services offer full flexibility for your business needs. You can see they have all different sorts of rates, billing occurrences, and billing triggers, which we'll explain shortly. We always recommend that when you put in your services template, it's just what you have as your standard. But you can always edit service templates per client when you're setting up the proposal. If you'd like, you have the option to import your services where you'll be able to add them all at once. If you need assistance with this, feel free to contact us. I would also like to point out that you have three dots here. The three dots appear on different pages in Anchor, indicating that you can take action. In this case, you can duplicate a service and you can delete one if you want to. Hovering over a service reveals an edit button. Your service templates can always be edited. Your changes will affect future agreements you create but not existing ones. I'm going to click on Create Service and first, name your service. The name of your service must be unique. You cannot have two services with the same name. The service description is a great place to define the scope of the service and avoid scope creep in the future. I have posted here an example with a bulleted list to provide more details. The description is visible to your client when they approve the proposal and later when it becomes an agreement. Next, select the billing occurrence. This is how frequently the service is going to be billed. The first option in the dropdown is one-time service, meaning this will be charged only once. Whenever we select one time, we automatically show the billing will be automatic upon agreement approval. So if you have a one-time service you want to charge once, such as a cleanup or an initiation service, you can just add a one-time and it will bill your client automatically once the proposal approval is received. One-time services can also be billed manually, so you can decide when to charge them. You can charge it once you start or finish the service directly from the billing hub, which is covered in another video. In pricing, you can choose between a fixed price a price per hour, a unit price, and a range. For this one-time service, I'll stick with a $7.50 fixed price. If you choose to discount a service, you can choose between a dollar discount and a percentage discount. To set up an ongoing service, you can choose from weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. Your billing options will then be automatic or manual. When set to automatic, it means that we will bill based on the occurrence you set. So in this example, this bookkeeping service will be billed for $750 every month automatically, so you won't have to do anything. Billing it manually means you choose when to bill your client, similar to what we discussed earlier for one-time services. Let's cover the other three pricing options, hourly, unit, and range, these will only let you select manual as a billing trigger since the final charge is unknown yet. Let's select price per hour and set the rate. There is now an option to define a pre-approved number. It's very important to fill in the pre-approved number if you'd like to keep your billing automated. Payments that don't exceed the pre-approved amount are automatically processed and your client won't need to do anything as long as you put in that number or less when billing the service. For example, if you enter five pre-approved hours, billing your client for five hours will automatically send the invoice and collect the payment. If it's above it, your client gets the invoice and will have to approve it for the payment to be processed. The same applies to unit-based pricing. One more option that you have if you need a little bit more flexibility is range pricing. If you're not sure how long it will take to complete a service, but you know it will be priced somewhere between $1,000 and $1,500, it's best to offer a price range. If you end up billing your client up to $1,500, invoice and payment collection will be automated. If above, your client will have to approve the invoice for the payment to process. When you've completed the setup, click the Save button. You have now added the service to your library, and you'll be able to select this service when creating your proposal. 
That's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful.